Hello! In this video we will explore the weapon release modes offered by the Pave Spike. The targeting pod provides two weapon release modes accessible after selecting target find on the weapon node. WRCS automatic mode is the default and most commonly used mode when equipped with the Pave Spike. It is highly accurate and versatile, allowing a release from a dive, flying level or even lofting, while simply flying the plane holding the bomb button and waiting for the computer to automatically release as soon as the bomb would hit the designated target. However, auto mode requires WRCS integration and the WRCS relies on the INS system. If you lost the two systems due to combat damage or had to get up in the air without a solid INS alignment, you have a backup available with the second release mode. Release on range is a weapon release mode only utilizing the PAVE spike, independent from the WRCS and the INS system. It's fairly simple on the technical side. It just sends a release signal to the weapons the moment the PAVE spike measures a slant range shorter than a set range. To get ready, first put the mode selector on the range indicator to set. Then Rotate the knob below to the desired slant range and confirm by moving the mode selector to release on range. Now, holding down the bomb button would release the bombs the moment the measured slant range is lower than the configured slant range. The obvious question is how to obtain the correct slant range for an attack. Therefore, we draw a simple diagram, consisting of a target and our aircraft. This is the slant range we want to obtain. It can be computed based on the release range and the relative target altitude. Alternatively, it can also be computed using the mill setting for the site depression from a manual bombing profile. Additionally, the in-game bombing computer tool also provides the slant range for a given attack profile. After entering the data, all that is left to do is to fly straight at the target and hold the desired parameters. Carefully watch the altitude and especially the true airspeed. You may utilize the autopilot to hold the heading and altitude. Hold down the bomb button and wait for weapon release. Since accuracy solely depends on the slant range measured, it is crucial to keep the pot on target and use the laser to obtain accurate data. The technique can be used for any type of bomb, and especially with laser guided bombs, this allows for highly accurate weapon delivery with minimal systems involved, providing a solid and simple backup solution in case needed. Alright, that's it for today. Happy flying!